Hello everyone. Today is, what is the date? May 27th, 2024. I am back in this old account. I had had some issues getting into it. I think without notifying me, even though I didn't know they could do that, if that's what they did. I think without notifying me, I got shadow banned from this account. And I wasn't able or seemingly allowed to get into the account for... Shit, how long has it been? It's been nine months since the last upload on this channel, so probably about three months. Um... But I am back in. I had actually... Thinking that I was never going to be allowed back into this account for whatever reason. I had actually made a newer account. In which... 98% of what was on that channel. Or is on that channel is... Re-uploads from stuff that's on this channel. But I'm back into this one. So... From the way I look at things, screw that new channel. We're back in the OG. And actually, I had felt super guilty about making that new channel. So it's like, I didn't really involve much with it anyway. So if you come across an Earth Limitation Films channel that is not this specific one. I had made it. But no, don't subscribe to that one. Subscribe to this one. This is the OG, and we're sticking with it. Now... I have some projects that I have worked on, have completed, that are going to be coming up on this channel soon. Does that mean tonight soon? Possibly for some of them. But definitely not for all of them. I also have some projects I've been working on that I had... Um, well, I'll be specific here. I had a... I have a docu-series that I've been working on. I've got about two episodes of it done. And the original plan for it was to make one roughly two-hour documentary. Um, but I soon came to realize that with all the work that I want to do with it, with all the work that I'm going to need to do with it, one two-hour documentary ain't going to work. As much as I hate it, I hate, hate, hate docu-series. Um, I don't so much hate them, but it's just... I have a love-hate relationship with it just because of the History Channel. You know, they'll do those, like, ten-part things. And half of each episode, will at least, will be a recap of the last however many. And that's always the most basic watered-down thing. But there's actually people out there that do good docu-series and actually educate and progress along. And that's my goal. But it's a docu-series called Corrupt Rust. And to an extent, in the 40% out of 100% scheme of things, it is about the Jeffrey Epstein client list. And their direct association with them. People that are on it, who all's on it, etc. etc. But also, we're going to be going into um, not just the fact that the people that were on it, on his flight logs, the public um Documentate the documentation that's open to the public. Not just the fact that they were on it and their associate with him association with him based off of that, but also we're gonna be digging into I'm digging into the here are the signs that were always there kind of things. Um what were they uh these people doing on their own without it having Epstein's name attached to it. And, um... Fun little thing. Not so much fun as in... 
yay, but fun as in interesting. Um, as in a fucked up interesting. Is that I had actually uploaded the first episode when at that time I was trying to make the other channel, the at that time new channel, that we are no longer going to use. Um, I was trying to make it a, a session. I was a, um, I uploaded the first episode to that channel. Guess what happened? To my knowledge, within three hours, I had it uploaded. Well, here, let me start over. I had it uploaded. And I thought, I'm not going to sit here and ponder at the screen. I'm going to see where this episode goes. I'm going to see what happens. So I had uploaded it. I left my computer up. Gone and doing a, uh, went to do a few things, you know, get ready for bed and all that. And right before I went to bed, this was probably about an hour later. Right before I went to bed, I refreshed the stats page, the analytics page, and it said 14 views. And that's not that many views, but of course, I'm not putting videos out to beg for views either. 14 views is not a lot of views in the grand scheme of life, but in my mind, I'm thinking for this kind of project on this channel, you know, outing these people for being abominations to society and uh, trying to, you know, pretty much show what kind of um, self-centered false reality people they are and how they are destroying children and corrupting their lives um on this channel to me that was like wow in an hour 14 um went and read for a few minutes fell asleep I think it started storming that night and uh but for whatever reason, like a couple hours later, so this was about three and a half, four hours after I'd uploaded the video, I had woke up. I left my computer on. I'm like, okay, let's go check it out. The episode, first episode, had been taken down and banned from YouTube. Tried to re-upload it. Got about 1% in. Automatically, no, you can't. And I thought, interesting. Interesting. So, I mean, I have a list of reasons screenshotted somewhere about why it wouldn't let me do anything with it. But that being said, I uploaded it to Facebook, the EL Films page. It's been there ever since. And that was like two days later I uploaded it there. It's been there ever since. I got about half of the second episode done. Yeah, I'm gonna, f f for the next week, finish it up. Get at least most of the third portion done. I'm, I'm, this is, it's a riled up notion. And I'm getting it going. So, y'all keep your eyes out for that. But I just think it's highly interesting that they don't want something like that to go. But and it's not like there was anything in it that was illegal to show on public internet, so or any form of internet. To an extent, I feel like that proves I'm doing my job to out these. Pathetic, depraved people. Maybe not pathetic, because that was actually part of why I got it banned, was because I said, you were using bullying speech. So hopefully they don't get rid of this video over that, but... 
see um so i'm gonna one thing i'm gonna be doing is when i get at least five episodes in i'm gonna start burning dvds blank dvds leaving them around for free at places like mckay's public libraries and stuff like that but also long story short I'm back in. And these projects are going to start flowing. <laughs>